Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. Friends and neighbors, we got a lot to get through today, so let's get to it. First comment comes from the learner 1000 who's commenting on the replay of the TikTok live stream that I did. And they say, Dear Jason, this was a really good vid as it explains the purpose of CSS, CPSG, especially the part about trespassing, which I trust a lot of people don't get it yet. And this is why there are lack of questions as you put it. I came to the knowledge of knowing for years now that everything is language and a lot of people don't know this. This is how they, the fiction systems, gets you to contract with them because of one's lack of knowledge to identify on how to characterize the trespass as it is happening before your eyes. And since people do not have this knowledge and ability, they accept what they are being told. The school system, fictional education, will never teach you this knowledge. As I navigate in this nout I'm space, I live by my rules and have stopped accepting someone else's language until it is clarified and then agreed upon with the terms and definition for each word. Correct sentence structure is the best way forward for trespass and bringing balance to any contract by means of paper of the four-quarter rule or just verbally. Thank you very much for that comment, The Learner 100. I did uh, give Kuliana to that in the comments field, but I will do it verbally here as well. Um, they say that they stopped accepting someone else's language until it's clarified and then agreed upon with terms and conditions for each word. If the volition is the most important thing of any communication contract, if you and I go into a contract and we're both above board. We both are there to understand and cognize one another. There's nothing shifty or shady. No one's trying to take advantage of anybody. There's no need to define or give closure to any of the terms unless it is specifically asked for, unless someone really is confused about what a word means. Then, of course, you would have to share that. But other than that, if you're there to do positive performance things, it's not necessary. Uh, a handshake and a gesture is contract. If you have a trust there, the time correct sentence structure comes in is when that is when you're trying to stop trespass, a fictitious conveyance of grammar or fraudulent conveyance of grammar. Then you go into the terms and conditions and it's with laser like precision. But if you walked around all day, you like if you're at the cat, you know, go to the cashier at the local grocery store and you Tell them, yeah, I need closure on all the words you're using right now. I mean, you would never get anything done for real. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Maggie McCall7090. And they say, hi, where can I find the companion video to this one that you mentioned at the start of this video, please? Uh, and that video that they are commenting on is actually, I think, like over five years old. So if you can't find the video, uh, then... I probably took it down for whatever reason. I don't know. I put videos up and I don't really go back and watch them. I put them out there for you. So it's up to you to find them. So if you can't find it, I probably took it down for some reason or another. 
another comment from the learner 1000 and they say besides how do you expect to communicate with someone who isn't fluid in the medium you are using? Oh, they, they're responding to what I said to them. Good point. Apart from the CSS medium, it's been difficult even communicating with the simplest form of fiction language called English. It seems we are all using our version of it. Just read the comments. The word medium is broad. Actually, it's not broad because as I said before, the Learner 1000, if we're both here to cognize one another, you know the context I'm using the word medium. Okay, medium is that object of communication, that vessel of communication that I'm using to communicate with you. I think that's pretty clear. So if you're going to say, well, I don't know what you mean by medium, then you're playing word games. That's fiction tactics, and I don't participate with that. So just keep that in mind. Volition is the most important thing. Are you here to be understood or are you here to be misunderstood? Next comment comes from user hyphen TW3. Whoa, okay, whatever. And they say, for the correct punctuation of the private postmaster's dress is with the knowledge and set up of the CSS by the postmaster performance. I could not underline the facts here. I hope I have understood your videos. I will continue learning. Thanks, Jason. Well, I'll give you a quick audit then. Great uh, thumbs up on the effort. PRI is a particle of negation, so you would not use that. Um, you wouldn't really need to use address either. You could just use location or position. You have knowledge, space, forward slash, space, set. So that is incorrect. And then also you have set and then space up. That's also incorrect. Throws the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And then you precede the authority with a concern, which is incorrect positional sequencing and voids the mathematical interface on the grammar. It's always for a verb with by or for a verb with of, with of, with of, with of, with of, with by. The verb is always followed by with. And then if it's a short sentence, it'll be followed by by. Or the verb is always followed by with, and then of, and then with, and then by. It would never be of by. With by. Possessive authority. Thanks for the comment and for the effort. Next comment comes from Ivan, a living man, 3125. And they say, greetings, Jason. I asked you on a live stream about the flag that you use in your contracts. Your answer was clear. Fought me in that moment. Then I search in a war castles for some context and find DWM talking about flags jurisdiction. And he told us that there is a 121.9 grammar flag and him had the copyrights. It is the same flag. I'm trying to know how I can use it. Void the copyrights. Thanks for your time, Jason. Well, as I said in the Kuliana to them, I don't know anything about a 121.9 flag. I used the 1 by 1.9 flag. Now, if they were using talk to text, which I've said on numerous occasions, please don't use talk to text. Please type it out and take care to edit and proofread what you're publishing here. Because if it's important for you to be as clear as you possibly can, if my feedback is important to you, then you'll take the time to do that. But if you use talk to text, then you get crap like this. One to one. So, long story short, Ivan, if you go ahead and do your due diligence and research, you can find I give closure to exactly what went on and what is going on with the 1 by 1.9 Title IV flag and its history dating back to when it was captured, which capture is an act of war, and war negates contracts, so on and so forth. Um, as far as I'm concerned, there is no correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, copyright for the Title IV flag. There is none. Show me one. You won't because there is none. No one has written a correct copyright for it, number one. So, number two, anyone is authorized to use the flag if they have the knowledge to use it, if they know how to do that, if they know the flag constitution, if they have closure on correct sentence structure, they can use it. 
If you don't have closure on the grammar, I'd highly recommend you don't use that flag because you could get into a heap of trouble. Hope that helps. Next comment comes from JW Mills 3 and they say a multi-syllable word can have hidden sentence all within itself. I, I get your sentiment there, JW. However, nothing is hidden in the word. The syllables are right there for anybody to get. They can look it up in an etymology dictionary, parse the word, and they can find the meanings, the nativity root meanings of those words. And uh, the sentence is definitely not hidden. Thanks for the comment. By the way, I think that's the first video I ever published on YouTube. So that's an oldie. Nice hat. Another comment from J.W. Mills, and they say, Your language can perpetually steal you from your now. Um, now, see, to me, this is fiction psychology. Language can't steal anything. Men and women can steal. Even animals can steal. But language can't steal anything. <laughs> language and grammar are tools. They're not living things if your closure on what a living thing is that it breathes air then language is not living and cannot steal anything thanks for the comment next comment comes from hori size 6397 and they say it's backed by 21 coins with 99 percent silver not even one percent when made aware of the mistake they got PO'd, even made an effort to explain why it was correct. Well, I published this comment uh, just so you know, Horace Size. Please read the terms and conditions of this comments field. I appreciate you not using foul language in the comments field. I let this one slip by just because of the content and the sentiment of the comment because I think it's very funny because I'm familiar with the situation that they are outlining when it happened. I have a few insiders in their construct that stay in communication with me and let me know what's going on with them because it's always good to stay aware of these things. And I do remember this and it was funny because that's a, the con it's this constant scrambling it seems like, you know, from my perception that goes on over there. They find out they do things wrong, just like the conjunction. When I first came out uh, with teaching grammar and stuff, I was using the conjunction in correct sentence structure like I would use it in like five six seven zero five six seven, or I would use it five six seven zero seven. So the conjunction would be a bridge between sevens, facts, or between position loadio fact phrases. And they started writing me emails and you're doing this wrong, Jason. You have to have a full colon after the and and blah blah blah. And then they said David Wynn Miller teaches this in his book. And because they use the book as some sort of authority. I showed screen. I sent screenshots back to them. Actually, it was to Mari Shapka, where I showed David using the seven zero seven scenario. It was really funny. They shut up real quick after that. And now I see they have modified and updated their use of the conjunction to fall in line with the way I teach it, and have been teaching it from twenty eighteen. So I'm glad they're learning something over here. <laughs> Next comment comes from member Stuart Ship. Thank you for your membership. And they say, for the wowzers of the modification is with the filing by the claimant cognition. Okay, so just looking at this comment right off the bat, I wanted I published it for a reason. I do not condone nor uh, suggest anyone use a style of grammar like this. It reminds me back when uh, Gordon Michael Schiller was using, you know, this punctuated fiction babble sentences like colon, how hyphen r hyphen u hyphen today, question mark. <laughs> he would just do, and I would call him out on it, and I would say that if you're going to communicate, you need to use correct sentence structure, mathematically certified forwards and backwards if you want to stay aboard this vessel and communicate with me. And then he wrote back to me, this is a lazy, casual style of correct sentence structure. And they use words like wow-zers in their facts, or wow-we, 
or holy moly or something goofy like that. To me, and this is me, ladies and gentlemen, this is the way that I teach the grammar. It's sacred to me. It's not to be used in a trivial, haphazard manner. And that's the way I view wow, sirs. I would never use that, and I don't suggest you do it either if you're serious about the grammar and you treat it with honor and grace. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. Also, a couple other little things here. It's missing an S in claimant cognition. Again, this goes back to me asking you, the viewer, if you're going to take the time to comment, please proofread what you're putting out there because this will carry over to when you learn correct sentence structure. You'll be meticulous about that too. As they say, you perform the same in the small things as the big things. You put forth 100% effort. So I appreciate it if you would do that and show my comments field the respect by proofreading your comment. Also, uh, modification. MO is no contract. All right. And then I don't use, even though, you know, I do say, well, it's okay to put like a word like filing and then sick it. Personally, I would recommend not using that style. Don't use ing at all unless it has something to do with a, a word that's been out there for a long time, like bills of the lading. You know, that's a well-known word, well-known term. I would use it for that. But other than that, no ings. That's the way I teach it, and I try to be as correct as I possibly can. Next comment comes from Cus Dies Conscious, whatever. Don't know what that is. And they say, notice, for the defecations are with the poseful tension by the facto feds. Again, this falls along the same line as that stewardship comment. It's not correct sentence structure. Uh, it's not what I would call correct sentence structure, not serious correct sentence structure. Uh, I, I don't know what... Uh, this individual's knowledge level is. I know that they put notice as a standalone pronoun. And so that pretty much throws the rest of it into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun nonsense. I'm not a big fan of putting particles of negation in brackets. Um, I feel like if you're going to invest energy in writing out a correct sentence structure, then where possible you would actually do the work to find a synonym, a positive performance synonym to use rather than just put brackets around particles of negation. And when you read it out loud, it sounds goofy. For the defecations are with the poseful tension by the facto feds. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about you, friends and neighbors, but that sounds kind of goofy to me. Thanks for the comment. Please don't take it personal. Now we have a TikTok comment, and uh, TikTok Ready says, I paid for a live life claim and haven't received it back. Ladies and gents, you don't know how many people have commented to me and contacted me and told me that they sent, you know, a couple hundred bucks in that direction towards that guy and his people and didn't get anything back. And they won't even talk to them. Basically got ripped off. Ghosted. And then Wolfie says, Certify truth in mouth. Two or three witnesses. Every word may be established. I don't know what that means. Certify truth in mouth. So the truth's in the mouth. What if the truth gets out of the mouth? Then what happens? TikTok is a different, different domain. Let me tell you what. Next comment comes from A-S-A-D-D-A-S-F-F-D-G, Nam de Guerre, and they say, Hi, I'm fairly new with correct sentence structure, but when you ask, why is she using live birth instead of live life? My first though, my first though is to insist on the admiralty notion, maybe. English is not my first language salutations. Fred. Ah, Fred. Well, that's as good a guess as any. Uh, to me, it's just stating the obvious. 
If you're reading and writing comments and watching videos, then you are a live birth claimant. You have a claim of a live birth. You were born alive. So it's redundant to me to say something like that. Um, I mean, if they want to... This goes sort of like in the continuance of the evidence that I've said before that that domain over there, the Russell J. Gould, Muriel, Maury, those type of people, those are, they're fiction. They navigate in the fiction. And your theory fits right into that. Because if they're going to participate with admiralty, then that's fiction. So fiction, fiction, fiction. Fiction in, fiction out. Thanks for the comment and welcome aboard. Another comment, uh, they said, of course, I know that we all, st oh, I told them that it's all fiction concepts. And they said, of course, I know that we all start from a different Babel perspective, but we all aim the same destination because we all notice something deeply wrong, flawed with the wording or the verb. Is there a country that did indeed redact its constitution in correct sense? Structure, was it Iceland or was it debunked or untrue at all? Uh, again, as I corresponded back, my kuleana was, I don't know if a country did that, but if I had to give a knowledgeable guess about it, I would say no. Why would a fiction system ever do something like that? Because if the fiction system started using correct sentence structure, the gig would be up. They would no longer be able to fleece people. Will never happen. Do you know why it will never happen, Fred? Because they have the bigger guns and clubs. That's the bottom line. Next comment comes from Steve Harvey. And they say, the first rule or principle is mentalism. This woman speaks of a bonded heathen of birth. For I am born a man. It is in sense of spirit for which I speak. This woman wishes a status change. I think they mean status. For language is part, but only part. It is how one's honorable status change is repentances from past to bring one up from heathen to be likened to a god. A change of mind and attributes to show one's conduct is not of a heathen. Okay, so I warned this individual to please observe and follow the terms and conditions of my comments field. I have to say this again and again and again, friends and neighbors. Does no one ever read the terms and conditions of the vessel that they're on board, of that they're a guest of. I specifically ask people, please, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do the third. And yet here we go. Someone sharing their religious beliefs with everyone else. Because witches, uh, repentance, gods, heathens have nothing to do with correct sentence structure mechanics at all. Who's to say if a heathen is bad or not? What is a god? Here's a question for you. Why does mankind, why do some men and women feel the need to participate with a concept such as God? This is a cup. It holds liquid, a finite amount of liquid. I can certify to you this is, this is a cup. If you were sitting in front of me, I could hand it to you. And you would say, yeah, this is a cup. Okay. Now show me your God. You won't. And the final comment comes from Hexua Mario. And this was on TikTok. And they said, there is nothing shady about Russell J. Gould or his claim of the life. Russell J. Gould is the postmaster general of the world, not this man. <laughs> oh, man, I got such a chuckle out of this. And I did correspond back. I gave Kuliana in a video on TikTok to this individual telling him, you know, where, where have I ever claimed to be Postmaster General? I never claimed anything like that. Never, ever, ever, ever. I only claimed to be a grammar tutor. Also, again, I know that this individual, whoever they are, they don't have closure on grammar. They don't even know the first thing about the grammar. Otherwise, they wouldn't be saying this. They would know that Russell's claim of the live life template is crap. And has mistakes all over it. Anyone who has a rudimentary level closure of grammar can see this. 
So that tells you a lot about the people who follow Russell J. Gould around in their little cult. I don't know if Hexua is one of those cult followers or not, uh, but obviously they don't know Russell J. Gould. Uh, I'm sure they're not pals with him. I'm sure they don't spend time with him on a daily basis. Um, because I'm sure the half a dozen or so people that I've spoken to that sent Russell money or gold or silver and got ripped off, I'm sure they would disagree with you, Mario. I'd have to label you a newcomer to this. Recommend you do your due diligence and study up on the history. And I'm talking about the history from 1988 onwards up until the present time. Not just from 2018 on. Because if that's all you know, then you probably don't know. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel my gift to you my fellow mankind thank you again and i'll see you in the next one